I get asked the same question many times. How do you become a full stack developer? There are a lot of things to learn and there are a lot of paths to take from. So how do you define or how do you justify the path that is perfect for you? I have been a full stack developer throughout my career. When I started, I mainly worked on Java, Spring Framework, Oracle and backend technologies. And for the front end part, I was using HTML, CSS, JavaScript and jQuery. So when you're starting your career, it is very overwhelming to decide which particular language to learn, which particular framework to learn. So I'm going to tell you the same, which particular path you should decide and you should follow to become a full stack developer. Before I tell you that, please subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon so you get notified of all my tech videos. Now with that done, let's get started. Now firstly, let's understand what is a full stack developer. A full stack developer is a person who can manage both client side application and a server side applications. So that means it is divided into two parts, front end development and back end development. A role of a front end developer is to manage everything user interacts, either it be from the browser or from the application. They are responsible for how the user interacts with the system. The role of a back end developer is to manage the server side application. Whatever actions are performed by the user how to handle those actions, those are being handled by the backend developer. Either it be a login to the application, adding the items to the cart, doing the payments and so on. So all these are managed by a backend developer. Now when you are starting, you will be either in one of the shoes. Either you are completely new and you are starting from the scratch as a beginner or you know any of the technologies like backend or frontend and you want to expand your knowledge. So let's start with the former one. If you are beginner and starting with your journey, I suggest you to start with the HTML and CSS. It defines the foundation for your front-end development and it will take you to the long way. Once you get a hang of it, you can pick any of the programming languages and start on it. Now, I will suggest you to start with the JavaScript. This is just my opinion, but JavaScript is the most popular language and it's fun to learn as well. Now, there is an advantage also for a beginners to learn the JavaScript framework. You can fan out in both the ways in the client side application that is a front end application and also in the back end application. There are a lot of modern frameworks and libraries available that will help you to fan out in both the ways. Once you are comfortable with the JavaScript, you can explore more on the different JavaScript frameworks like React, Angular, Vue.js and so on. One pro tip over here, you can go through the job listing sites and you can pick the framework which is highly in demand. This will help you to choose the one which indeed will help you in your job search. Now with the practice and with a couple of projects later, you are confident enough to move on. Then I suggest you to grow on the backend technologies and learn the backend frameworks with the JavaScript. You can use Node and Deno for creating server side applications, creating APIs and you can call from your front end technologies as well, front end applications as well. So you can interact both backend and front end together. Now this is the one route you can take and the other route is you learn any of the server side programming languages like Java, Go, Python, C++ and after learning that you pick any of the framework which is available for that particular language and you learn that as well. The pro tip which I shared earlier that applies here as well for this particular server side programming languages also. Pick the one which is highly in demand and which will help you for your job search. Now considering you already knew any of the programming languages and you are well versed with the server side technologies then learning javascript will take you a long way and it's fun to learn and easy to learn and after that you can learn any of the javascript frameworks like angular react view and complete your entire spree of becoming a full stack developer i'm in the literal part i learned java first and started my career then i grew upon learning advanced javascript and react for front-end development. Once you are learning something, I suggest you to stick with that because I see a lot of beginners who start learning any of the programming language or technology and if they find anything new, they hop onto that particular technology or framework and they find anything else new, they hop onto that which is new. With this, you won't be able to get the fundamentals of the technology and you will feel intimidated with a lot of things available. It is true that a full stack developer should know a lot of things about a lot of things. But it's all things you can learn when you are sound with the fundamentals. So I want to conclude here is start with small and grow on it. There are a lot of contents available on the internet. So don't get overwhelmed with it. Learning is a marathon, not a sprint. That's been it. If you got value out of my video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for the upcoming videos. I will see you in the next video. Till then, happy coding. Bye bye.